Hello, my name is Elena, and I've been here at Turtle Gallery in Deer Isle, Maine, since its beginning in 1982. I'd like to welcome you to our 2020 online open process. The uncertainty of the current situation is a weight on everyone. We're all taking precautions to maintain our safety and those of our artists and community. While we may not be able to hold our regular openings, we hope open process allows us to share some behind the scenes work and thought processes that go into creating a gallery show. We're selecting objects and offering ideas to honor the big global shifts which have caused our current sheltering in place. Fostering the gallery through several slow economic times has been a great learning experience. I know we can all come through this hibernating and healing period with new energy and inspiration. This mini collection of images and objects is dedicated to the spirit of all makers and appreciators. Thank you. These three small pieces relate through their simple, organic, whimsical nature. Sharon Townsend's freestanding clay forms are inspired by nature. Here she pushes the terracotta clay from the inside to define the figure, which can be life-size or smaller, like the one shown here. Susan Chase's simple black figurative wire pieces relate well to the calm white form by Sharon. The colorful found object grid by Jean Shaw, stuffed with old lobster trap line, is a great counterpart to the simple figures. I've enjoyed looking at all these together and hope you will too. Hello, my name is Anna Edgerly Moore and I work for the Turtle Gallery in Deer Isle, Maine. We're here to talk about the process of developing a gallery show from the artist all the way to the exhibit. The piece by Chris Joyce is a beautiful example of hand-turned redwood burl. On the floor is uh, George Hardy's carving of a sentinel bear. The skunk is by Barbara Sullivan, who works in fresco and large format drawings. Julian Peterson Craig paints in oil on canvas and is represented here by this quiet interior scene. We selected these pieces because they represent a variety of mediums. The darker colors in all four of these pieces evoke emotions and subtle reactions in different ways. The gourd is lovely, detailed, um, just truly a craft piece. It takes many years to develop the capabilities necessary to produce something like this. The burl gives it a wonderful depth um, in this sort of lightly finished wood and uh, it's organically shaped and it actually contrasts with the lid quite well, which is a more formal, um, formal shape. The stylized carving of the sentinel bear is ideal for sort of comparing to the Joyce piece. Hardy's representation is sort of ferocious and draws to mind the gargoyles that might be on top of a castle. Um, however, the, the representation in this case is very grounded and, and earthy. Barbara Sullivan primarily works in fresco and large format Sharpie drawings. It's kind of an interesting combination of flat and 3D artworks. One of them was exhibited a few years ago here at the Turtle Gallery and it took up a whole corner of the space, but it's a really whimsical sort of style and uh, it, it was originally, this skunk was originally part of the larger installation. This painting is by Jillian Peterson Craig, and she's sort of more of a traditional painter. You see some very subdued interior light here, and a sort of soft glow from the television uh, set off to the left. The group sitting around the table leads us to think about whether this family unit has just shared a meal together, maybe a, a long day of work, um, and they're settling in for the, the evening something we're, we're sort of all too familiar with these days inside <laughs> with each other. The warmth of the light and the sort of quietness of the subjects could be somber in some circumstances, but in this case, it feels much more lighthearted and, and just calm. The piece sort of contains a little mini still life, actually, with the, the pears and the pitcher on the table. And it's kind of a sweet touch that um, adds to the traditional feel of this work.
We chose this group of pieces because they share some darker tones, but they really all demonstrate the mastery that these artists have for their mediums and, um, and their craft. Thanks so much for joining us. Please leave us comments and questions on our Instagram page at the Turtle Gallery or email us at person at turtlegallery.com. We'll be featuring more artists coming up, so keep an eye out. Thanks.